Hey guys, it's Chris, and today we're going to try and put this SBC uh, FS97C GME in my Amiga. Uh, why would you put this card in your Amiga, Chris? It's an Amiga. Why do you want a PC? Well, I do and I don't. The idea behind this is this is a single board computer, as I stated before. It either runs off PCI or 16-bit or 8-bit ISA. Uh, for power and on power only, pretty much, it has its own interfaces for SATA and PCI and floppy and CD-ROM and printer and memory and everything. Ethernet, USB, serial, video, everything is self-contained in this board. Like I said before, this was a uh, bought from an industrial surplus company. This was a spare. This has never been used. There isn't a scratch on any copper uh, for a parking lot attendant uh, where it would go up and down when you scanned your card in. It would check your card and do its thing. This was actually never used. This was a spare board for a parking uh, garage computer. So it's brand new. The idea I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the Amiga 2000 on one of the 16-bit slots or the 8-bit slots. I don't know. I can't remember which one of my 2000s has the 16-bit slots. They all come with 8s and you can add the extra little on for the 16. Um, it's probably the Vampire one. I'm going to use that one. The idea is I'm going to load Amiga OS 3.9 XL on the PC side because why not? All right, so we're back. We got the Amiga 2000 with the Vampire. So I need to get rid of some stuff here. Um, I have the TBC3 AD1202. And I'm leaving the GVP. In its place, we're going to put the SBC. Right now I have a 64 uh, gig uh, compact flash card. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have a Lexar that I can use in its place. I already have the jumpers preset. We're not going to be using any of the video options. I need one of these guys. This is a PS2 splitter. It'll go right in here once I plug it in. That gives me mouse and keyboard. Standard VGA. We're going to use Ethernet also. I will have nothing to power, uh, nothing to boot from. So I'm going to hook an IDE CD-ROM to this header. And then we're going to uh, fire it up. So it looks like I'm adding some 16-bit to this side. Or I'm just going to grab the other Amiga 2000 out of storage and it even fires up but as you can see here eh, we're just missing a little thing so I'm gonna move some stuff over which involves some soldering I'm gonna grab another one I have some spares and we'll just solder this in I still have to take the whole dag on board out and everything apart because I saved you the bore I added the other bit so now we have a full 16 bit ISA slot and we're going to make sure that everything works. Well, we're not making sure it works. We're just going to plug it in. So now, if it sits in here, it will actually have access to the entire 16-bit. And I put it on the end here because there will be nothing interfering. If I went with any other slot besides these two on the end, the PCI extension of the SBC would be banging into the Zorro slots. And that's not good because it's ground and it just doesn't power on. So, taking a quick once over at what I haven't touched in a little while. Everything still looks good. And uh, I'm ready for partial reassembly. It's been about an hour or so. I put the uh, other little bit. I tidied up the Amiga a little bit. Did some ghetto cable management. Let's hit it. We should get a PC screen. Alright, it's firing up. Amiga's firing up. Flash floppy, can't see that. Little fan spinning, we should get a, there's the vampire light. DJ should come on, we should get a beep for the PC. Oh, that sucks. Watch, it'll come on while I'm, uh, oh shoot. Yeah, of course, so here's the PC side of that thing coming on. Amabios, 1984 through 2006, FS97C version 1.1, celery stick, M441.8.6, channel zero slave, CF card. Press F1 to continue. I hope the splitter works. Hang on. Floppy disks fail. That's great. F1 to continue. My downfall is I have to turn the Amiga off and turn it back on. Now I didn't 
plug in the mouse. I'm only running off the keyboard plug. All right, so PC side, Amiga's still booting. Let's see, standard IDE slave. Well, that just stinks. Not too fond of the processor. Channel Zero CF card will be my boot disk. So that is the PC side, and I can just literally flip to, oh, come on. Let's let this thing figure out what it's doing. Great. It's going to complain about a boot drive. Okay, so we don't have anything on the drive. So now if I just go to HDMI 1, which is the output of the vampire, here's the Amiga side right here. All right, so we're on the PC side again. Oh my god, does this have Windows on it? I'll have to hook up some additional headers for USB and put the card slot in here. I have one somewhere. I just got to dig it out of the pile. But the PC side works, and the Amiga's still running. I don't want Windows 98 on it. I want to format this disk, and I'm going to put a Mithlon on it. So this is getting crazy. PC, CD drive, Amiga OS, 3.9 XL. That uh, Windows 98 copy just totally didn't work. So we're going to turn this on. Come on. Open. Oh my god, this is so slow. Open. Oh my god. I need to get another drive. This one sucks. Okay. Attempt 437. DVD drive. IDE. OS 3.9 XL. Amiga on. Wait for the Amiga to turn on before it gets power. Oh, come on! What is this curse I have? Everybody does YouTube videos and they're all like, oh, everything's perfect. Look at this just work. It's not how it is. It's not how it is. And I'm here to show you that my life is just like yours. Full of headache and cheese of whiz. All right. Let's go old school 40 pin cable. With a bug on it. Good. 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 Putting the 3.9 CD in. Do I get a boing ball? Do I get a boing ball? Yes! Hot dog. I just want to see if I get the GUI from the disc. If I can get the GUI from the disc, I don't have a mouse, but this is natively supporting a Mithlon. So that's crazy. So watch. I'm just touching nothing but the monitor. I have, Remember, I have no keyboard or mouse plugged in, so there's going to be my... So I'm going to go bank. Input source to HDMI, which is the vampire right here. The vampire should come on. Amiga OS 3141139, whatever this is. And then I can toggle back once I get this built. Input source. Back to VGA. It's nothing. Here's my here's my adapter. Nothing in. VGA's into that card. A Mithlon. But that's some cool stuff. That's a start. Um, but this is a more modern processor. It's a celery stick, but it's a Pentium 4. You know, this is much better than the old core style or whatever. It's a Pentium 4 celery stick. I'm going to replace it with something better, maybe. I don't know. It's just for a Mithlon. Uh, it's going to have a Giga RAM, 8 megs of chip. I need to turn this off. I have to get this mouse working. I have to see what's doing this. I wonder if the old, uh, I don't have an Amiga key. I don't have a Windows key. What am I going to do? can't open it. There is no left Amiga key because I'm on a pre-Windows keyboard. Missing that Windows flag key there. Please remove before use. So this is brand new. Dirty from... I don't know. I needed a PS2 keyboard. I think I grabbed one from work and uh, Cyberdyne was nice to let me take it. This has a Windows key. Yes, it does work. So if you hold the Windows key down Oh my god, this sucks. So, same as the other Mithlon. So now that I have the slowest mouse on earth, I am literally holding this key down, and then this key, and then the arrow keys to move this. And then when I want to click something, whoops. It's the... 60 gigs natively. I can't install it because remember I have to do the small DOS boot partition. So we're going to try that. We'll do it with this. I just have to get some kind of mouse set up on this and get it working. 
that's a quick the PC card in here the SBC is working it's not hot at all for what it is it's only got a gig of RAM I could put up the three gigs on this card I have to do something with this after I'm done um, should I I don't nah, I don't know I don't like the color I'd have to paint it and we'll get into all that later but for now we have an Amiga running off an Intel card a May uh, 247 on the Commodore Amiga slash PC build and uh, I burnt the Cunix uh, 621 so this CD-ROM of course is hooked up to the PC board I'm just gonna turn it on and then we're gonna wait for the Amiga to post or the PC to post sorry and we're gonna boot Cunix you are licensed to this ver version of Cunix for Nitro press a spacebar for boot option input boot options unable to allocate resource invalid argument well that doesn't work so I guess I'm gonna go back to free DOS like I did before and use the Excel and all this stuff I really wanted the Cunix as the base not DOS so we could have a grub type boot but I don't know so we know the drill I've kind of got it down to a science now I'm gonna make 25 or 30 megabyte uh, MS-DOS partition then I'm going to make a type 76 uh, remainder partition boot 39 and uh, format the disks and get it installed there we go we are booting off our own hard drive no CD in the device I could actually remove the CD once I get all my drivers installed for USB I still haven't found the header that I had somewhere I'll find it so I can have USB and then a USB keyboard and mouse it or something there are some options on this card the pin headers in the back here where I can run jumpers for a power button a reset hard drive light whatever I'll probably do them in the back on a blade I'll hollow one of these out. These are just some old PC ones. I'll drill these out, put some single push uh, buttons for reset and power. And then at least I'll have something functional and <coughs> Rona. So I can actually switch to HDMI 1, which is the Vampire's RTG output, and still hopefully see it running. And there's the vamp running. I don't have any keyboard or mouse hooked up to that either. So I'm batting a thousand. But at least I have the uh, 39XL booting. And in real time, if I had a mouse, that was probably 10 minutes. But I added 10 minutes because I had to use the no mouse. And now I So that's all I got for now. Thank you for watching. And I hope you find this interesting. And we're going to do some more. i got to get her clothes back on and figure out what I'm doing for a drive or something. Don't know yet. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.